Hello everyone, welcome back to Trophy Life Experiences. Today I'm reviewing the Bottomless Weekend Brunch, which is uh, put on at Arc Restaurant, located inside the Fairmont Waterfront Hotel at 900 Canada Place Way in Vancouver. It's on every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. and it's $49 per person. So there's about 15 items and you can have all you can eat for those 15 items. Uh, we got there and um, we were a little late. Um, the receptionist was a little aloof, made us wait, but then the person who brought us um, to our table and then our server, Vivian, changed the tone completely. They were nice and friendly. Um, Vivian was courteous very prompt and really made a great experience for us. So the first thing we had was um, the BC Berry Basket Smoothie, which is blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, banana, and yogurt. I had two of these, um, delicious, but I didn't get a picture of it. Um, this photo is the menu, and you can see on the left-hand side the items that you can actually have in the, um, you know, all you can eat. It also includes coffee and tea. So the next two videos are going to be just live videos. Um, don't worry if you can't really see the um, the actual in items. I'm going to have them um, in close-ups in them later on in this video. But I thought I'd do a live shot. I don't do a lot of live shots because I think it's just um, it's disturbing to both the restaurant in terms of their service and also to um, the other people I'm eating with. But uh, here goes with um, two short videos about um, what I that I did right at the restaurant. So I'm here at Arc Restaurant and we're having the all-you-can-eat buffet. So I just want to show you some of the food. Don't want to take up too much time with people. So firstly, we've got this avocado toast. This is really nice. This is the, uh, this is the, I'm really looking forward to this. This is the chicken, fried chicken. So this is the croque madame. And then this is the poutine. I like the size we're sharing with people and uh, I'm going to go through each one a little bit later on this video so I'm going to get back to eating. So I got shots of most of the items and I'll go through some of them. I don't think I've got pictures of every one of them. I would recommend that you go with um, a table of four. Um, with just two people it's hard to try everything. There's a lot of starch so it'd be hard to kind of go through all the everything on the menu but with four people I think we did go through each item of the menu and you can share it so it's kind of nice to try a little bit of each thing. So the first item is the liege waffle which is poached pear chai tea sauce anglais. I really like this it was a, a decent portion and you can see it's kind of uh, you can cut up into four pieces and each can have a little bite size. Um, so a nice waffle with some um, poached pear on the side. I really like this um, it was a nice um, item. Next dish we ordered was the ooey gooey skillet. It's apple cinnamon caramel croissant. This is a filling dish. It's pretty big and so again we were lucky that we had four people. Even with that that's a lot of starch. Um, for just one person that would be quite filling and for two people yeah it would be quite filling. So it's nice to have four people to kind of share this but I really enjoyed this. I love sweet kind of um, croissant um, cinnamon bun type um, um, items so this was really nice. Next item was the jerk fried chicken so it's on top of a fennel cake with habanero maple syrup. I like the fried chicken um, it's nice and tender and the fennel cake at underneath you actually don't need the liege waffle if you have this again you can see with the first three dishes all of them have starch so it can be filling if you kind of eat all this kind of starch and you don't want to be wasteful either um, so maybe you would have one or the other if you, or if you have four people you can have both next item is the croque madame which is ham gruyere mornay sauce sunny side egg up. Um, again, you will see with other items, this is another filling dish, some more bread. Um, I would have this or else the Benedict, which is later on, and I found this a little bit filling. Um, but again, it depends on your taste buds. Um, but yeah, it's you're really filling at this, at this point if you're a two people or one person. But again, with four people, you just share a little bit. Even at that, this is quite a big dish because you can see there's two pieces of toast underneath. So um, it is a filling dish. 
Next, this, this is the beef short rib poutine, french fries, cheese curds, and gravy, another heavy dish. I actually like this, but it actually is too big, um, even for four people after you've had other things. Um, the taste is good, it's just too much. And so, uh, as you can see, we're starting to get full with all these dishes, but the dishes keep coming. Next dish is the braised pork cheeks uh, with manchego polenta, polenta, onion, uh, estrabeshi, and cilantro. I really like this dish. The, the pork cheeks were really nice. This, the um, polenta was good, but it's just too much. There's a lot of it. Um, but again, if you can share it with other people, that's kind of nice. They have uh, two pork cheeks. So again, it's perfect for four people. Each of you have like, half a pork cheek. It works out really well. Next dish is the avocado toast, a poached egg um, with a grilled sourdough. Again, um, nice dish, uh, uh, more starch. So a lot of them are starch um, kind of bread based. So it's a lot of food, um, but all the food was really good. The quality was really tasty. I didn't think there was anything that was really uh, behind the curve. Maybe the croc madame, I would say um, it was maybe because I had it when it was colder and it kind of dried up a bit, but um, everything else was tasty and um, it was really fun to try different dishes. This is the salmon Benedict. They also have a traditional Benedict and also the croc madame. So maybe you'd have, if you were just eating by yourself, maybe you'd only have one of the these three because they're very similar. I personally prefer just the traditional Benedict, but this salmon Benedict was also very nice. This is the meat and potatoes. So a uh, lot of tomatoes here, caramelized onions, ham, bacon, pork, and sausage. Again, this is a nice plate to share. If you have a table of four, each one take a little bit. All in all, it was really fun. Um, there's a couple of things I didn't get a um, photo of. One of them was the Migas breakfast taco, which is individual tacos. I thought that was good too. Um, so all in all, really fun. I think it's um, for $49, it's kind of a neat thing to have so many different dishes, especially if you're going with a number of people. Um, there's Everything is really good. The ones that I enjoyed the most, uh, what I would recommend is maybe the uh, BC Berry Basket Smoothie, um, the Ooey Gooey Skillet, um, the Jerk Fried Chicken, one of the, either the Salmon Benedict, Traditional Benedict or Croc Madame, um, the pork cheeks, and the meat and potatoes, and the Mika's breakfast taco, which is basically everything on the menu. Um, but it, everything was really fun, nice location, I think pretty good value. Uh, but there is, you're going to be full and uh, lots of starch. But um, something for everyone, I thought it was a really fun experience. It's almost like a English version of dim sum. So I really liked it. Um, and I would recommend this. Until next time, happy eating.